Amabini has introduced a controversial piece of legislation that would require individuals who are applying or renewing their applications for public assistance. She recognizes Bill 317 may be sensitive, but hopes instead it will help Guam's law enforcement agencies in the war on drugs. This bill is designed to help the individuals. And what we want to make sure is that uh, the families and especially the children are protected. And so there are provisions within the bill um, to protect the, uh, the minor recipients um, who are entitled to, to welfare um, subsidies. According to Bill 317, if an individual tests positive or found to be in connection with controlled substances, he or she will be ineligible to receive public assistance benefits for one year. Additionally, individuals who are discovered to be involved in the sale, manufacturing, distribution, or addiction of controlled substances will be removed from any further public assistance programs. She adds, if the individual tests positive, there will be an assigned protectorate to take the place of the parent or guardian, so children will still be able to receive funding. Mabini says she considered issues from stereotyping to a possible violation of one's Fourth Amendment right, but says it's ultimately to address the negative effects of drug abuse. What I'm depending on have been studies, and there have been studies that show that it, uh, families that uh, tend to or are uh, tend to rely on assistance or public assistance have a higher degree or higher percentage of drug abuse than those who are not um, receiving public assistance. You know, when we apply for for jobs, whether it's some, a lot of private entities, um, the, the federal government, uh, even our local government, um, requires um, drug testing before uh, before or while the application process, uh, is in process. So it's no different than that. Mabini says the bill requires public health to set the parameters of what kind of public assistance the bill would cover, whether it be food stamps, the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families program, Medicaid, and MIP, or other kind of assistance. Public Health Director Jim Gillen tells KUAM that he has yet to read the measure, but based strictly on Florida law, he finds the bill might not necessarily be entirely effective or bring a cost savings. There are currently 14,000 cases under the food stamp program, over 8,000 cases under the Medicaid program, 6,000 under the MIP program, and over 1,000 in the TANF program. There are over 2,000 cases of public assistance that involve cash payments. Ultimately, Mabini envisions the bill will allow public health and mental health to work together to get those who may be on drugs help. What I'm hoping is that we'd be able to help identify them, help them, find the help that they need, and then get them back on track and to be uh, productive individuals work, working in our community and, um, you know, and very successful individuals. According to the bill, applicants will have to foot the bill for the drug test. If they test negative, then they will be reimbursed. Senator Mabini, however, hasn't yet determined what kind of funding will accommodate this provision. She says if public health feels the section of the bill is unfeasible, she welcomes them to come to the public hearing and make suggestions. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.